Growing up in war-torn Sierra Leone, Mikhail Calon has survived more trauma than most people can imagine. 10, 15 years ago, I never believed I would actually be in an, an educational environment wherein there's no gunshot. There's, um, I'm not running out of class because of somebody shooting or something. Since arriving on a humanitarian visa in 2000, Mikhail says Australia has allowed him to achieve all of his dreams. I love my job. Uh, that makes every day special for me in this place because you don't get that that much, eh? Mikhail works at the Beverly Hills Intensive English Centre, helping children who've just arrived in Australia to feel at home. He gives such positive encouragement and such, such good me um, messages to our kids about, you know, the value of study and the value of working hard, even when it's a bit boring sometimes, um, to get a better life in the long run. That positive, can-do attitude clearly rubbing off. They help me improve my English and they prepare me so well for high school, which gives me confidence to cope with my assignment and go to high school as well. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I have many friends now. In fact, I'm even playing basketball, football. I enjoyed it really. It's good, it's fantastic. Mikhail is now planning a trip to Sierra Leone at the end of 2009 to take educational equipment to children in need. He says it's his life in Australia that gives him inspiration for the ambitious project. I loved Australia. I adore Australia. I tell you, I've been in Australia for eight years. I have been blessed. Meanwhile, in Melbourne, another youth worker is making a real difference. Sudanese humanitarian entrant Matur Machar teaches sports like basketball and soccer to children from all over the world. What I like about working with young people is the fact that you, you, you see it, it's, it's rewarding and uh, you see young people making changes and, and seeing young person coming to tell you thank you for the direction you have shown me really is what is fulfilling about the job and that's why I love it most. In 2002, Matur arrived in Australia after surviving 10 years in a refugee camp. Since then, he's completed a tertiary degree and started a traineeship program in youth work at the city of Greater Dandenong Council. That's what is good about Australia. It's, it's a land of, uh, you know, it has paid chances and everyone has, has an opportunity to do what they want to do. Mateur's hard work receiving some well-deserved recognition in 2008 when he was named Australian Apprentice Trainee of the Year. The award funding a joyful and emotional trip to Sudan. Going back home after 20 years was really different. I went back home, everyone was waiting for me and uh, I met my mum after a long time. 